Okay, today guys, we're going to be installing the Furitech Lizard Pro ESC. And we're going to be also installing the FlySky uh, FSGT3B, which is a three channel remote that has uh, 10 different uh, stations to uh, add different uh, RCs to. It also comes with a with with its own receiver. So we'll probably need some 3M double-sided tape. We're gonna remove the old receiver and DSC from the vehicle, and be putting in the uh, Lizard Pro here. This is how it looks when it comes out of the box. Already has the heat shrink around it. So basically, here's all the connections. Okay, here's the uh, Lizard Pro. So basically, you're using your brushed motor in this system, which I have the Enhora uh, Pro motor. So basically, I will unplug my motor from the stock ESC and I won't remove this stock ESC until I'm finished installing the Lizard Pro and make sure everything works right but then I'll put this new one into the stock slots here Okay, so now the motor's plugged in there. It only has two prongs because it's brushed since they're brushless. If you had the brushless motor, it would be three prongs. So you got to kind of shift that into there. It's, it's kind of kind of a strong shift to get in there. <clears throat> then we're going to plug. We have our new receiver for the Fly Sky. We're going to plug the this port from the ESC into the receiver into channel two. And we're gonna plug our servo into channel one. I'm going to leave the headlights out for now, just doing a test to see if everything works right. And I'm going to go ahead and plug in my battery. Red to red, black to black. Go ahead and turn on my new radio here, the Fly Sky. Everything should already be bound from the factory on this Fly Sky. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the ESC. It appears to be working. The motors, the triggers moving the motor the opposite way of what it should be. And it's also in, set up to a brushless system instead of brush. So I'll have to go into the app and change it to a brushed system. But as you can see, the wheels are actually turning correctly. So everything seems to be working perfectly.
Okay, so we have to download the FearTech app using this barcode that's on the instruction manual. Once that's downloaded, it'll sync to your vehicle. You just got to set your own password and it'll sync. And so if you're, let's say you're, when you push the trigger of your control to go forward, if the vehicle goes backwards, then you need to go to running rotation direction. Right now, it's in the correct rotation. When you pull the trigger, the vehicle goes forward. But if it was not in the correct direction, you would click this and put counterclockwise to reverse the direction that it's running in. But since it's already correct, I'm just going to leave it in clockwise. Okay guys, here's the Fly Sky remote. It looks a lot better than the um, normal SCX24 remotes. It has a light up screen at the top. And if let's say you just want to reverse the uh, steering, which at the moment mine is incorrect, you would just hit enter scroll over to servo hit enter hit end and it right now it says normal so you would throttle over to reverse hit enter and now your steering would be reversed Okay, so the next step, now that we know everything is working correctly, is to turn everything off, disconnect the battery, now I'm going to remove my old ESC, the stock ESC is no longer needed. So I replace my new receiver with some double-sided tape. plug in my headlights Make sure all of this closes flush. And I'll go ahead and put a small piece of double sided tape to attach my ESC to my receiver. Okay, everything is installed inside the Bronco, the Lizard Pro ESC, the Fly Sky receiver under that. Uh, just to go over a few things, the uh, 
ESC is plugged into channel 2 on the receiver. The steering servo is plugged into channel 1 on the receiver and the headlights are plugged into channel 3. And if you go on to um, Furitech's website and look at the pictures of the Furitech Lizard Pro, it tells you step by step on the site where to plug the motor, the uh, you know battery, you know just so you don't make any mistakes there. It's pretty simple. Okay, gonna turn on my um, FlySky remote here, test everything out, make sure everything's running right. As you can see, the steering is correct. Vehicle's driving perfectly. Slow crawl with the new ESC is pretty nice compared to stock. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in to the channel again. I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of uh, me installing the PureTech Lizard Pro ESC on the SCX24 Bronco and the uh, FlySky FS GT3B remote controller, which uh, I did notice some pretty decent um, gains and improvements over stock performance with the Furitech Lizard Pro uh, compared to the stock ESC, even with a brushed um, motor system. So definitely something to uh, look into and check out, a great upgrade. And uh, definitely like and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for future videos and future videos of the SCX24s running on the uh, indoor course.